My name is Eric Strebel. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. This episode's sponsor, PCBWay, offers printed circuit boards with 24-hour express shipping service for your electronics projects. They have low minimum quantities, great quality, and easy online Instaquote ordering 24-7. Click the link in the description to get your next project started. Big or small, simple or complex, PCBWay can help. So there's a couple problems here. It's tough to get these things. I have to reach over the screwdrivers to get the stuff in this tray. The stuff that's back here is a little difficult to get. This wall is a little too high right here. And so some things kind of get lost inside of there. And some of this stuff is blocking my access to these everyday kind of weirdly shaped tools. Can't get my pens. My pens are kind of buried here. This is where I have files, X-Acto knives and things. And that's a little tough. We've got pointy things sticking down here. We've got pointy things sticking up here. Access to this area isn't great. The good thing is that these trays here are modular and they can be moved around. That's going to be helpful in taking them out and changing stuff. I think what I'm going to do is take this row out so I can have better access into here. Move these pliers down here on this row. And then we're going to take these screwdrivers and put them down here because I really don't access the stuff in the bottom very much. It's more long term. Plus, I got big holes on the side for those gloves and things. So, I'm going to change things up a little bit so we have some better access here and then make these things a little sturdier at the same time because they're starting to sag and that needs to be addressed. Fabulous. Now that this shelf has been raised and I've removed all of these shelves, I'm probably going to take this off, make some adjustments to this, and then in the end we'll end up making new shelves that go here and here. I took them all off because I'm going to replace them all. But first I think we're going to tackle this guy, modifying this thing here a little bit. Probably take it out and do a little adjustment on this guy. I'm gonna use some oak picture frame molding. It's an L shape and that's gonna give me additional strength. And this is what we're gonna to use to make the tool shelves out of. We'll cut them to the right size on the table saw and then we'll lay out where all the tools go. We'll use the old pieces that I saved to transfer the lines over so we can get things lined up in a place that's familiar to me and my workflow. I'm gonna start the process by drilling a basic set of pilot holes for each tool. I can then go and expand that hole as needed for each and every tool specifically. These two guys here that need some modification. We're going to do this modification on the drill press with the cross slide vise and we're going to mill out some wider slots. 
This is fucking retarded. It's got a 1 8 inch set screw, but it has a metric nut. That is fucking retarded. That is fucking. Okay, excuse me while I make some retarded adjustments. Okay. Let's see here. Should be good to go now. Got these guys here in the end, a little stubby. Got this, hold that in place just nice. This one, this one. And we got the big ones on the end. For basic machining of softer materials like wood or plastic, this setup works halfway decent. I've actually done an entire video on this. If you want to see that, the link is up here on the right. I know many of you guys are cringing that are machinists, but it's what I have. And no, the spindle does not fall out. Yes, I am completely aware that drill presses cannot really withstand side loads. My drill press was not designed to be a mill. I'm aware of this. No need to leave comments about this below. Also, no need to leave comments about the danger. Yes, there is some danger. The chuck, yes, could come out while it's spinning. It just drops down, pops into whatever it's machining, Nothing happens. I hammer the chuck back in and keep on machining. This is a crappy central machinery drill press. I don't really care if it breaks. As a matter of fact, I'd love it if it does so I can get a new one. I'm using screws to hold in these little shelves. That way, if I need to modify them in the future, they are easily removable or replaced with something else. So it's all put back together. Something like this is never done. It's kind of like designing a product. It will continue to evolve. I will change stuff over time. The nice thing is that it's modular and so that it can be continuously adjusted for whatever my needs are. Your cart may be different and you will build it different and adjust it different for your needs. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Rock on. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.